Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is just going to be a fairly quick one. I just wanted to give you an introduction to the Tasmanian Names Index. Um, this is a fantastic website if you have any ancestors who are from Tasmania or if you're just interested in Tasmanian history. Compared to all of the other dates, Tasmania does this so well. Um, they're records are just so easy to access and they're all just there for you and they're free like it's a genealogist's dream come true <laughs> so of course you can only access records that are sort of um over 100 years old just like pretty much all of the other um states just for privacy reasons the link website where the tasmanian index is found also has heaps of other great resources and we'll totally look at them in other videos but for today i just thought i would show you this great resource Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the website that we're going to is Libraries Tasmania, which is libraries.tas.gov.au. And then you just scroll down and you'll see family history there on the right hand side. And then that opens up a whole section. But what we're going to look at today is the Tasmanian Names Index. So click on that. And then you can see there's just a search bar and you just literally type in the name of any body in Tasmania that you're looking for. So I'm going to type in James Ellis. That's an example from a friend's family tree. And as you can see, they've brought up all of the records that have anything to do with James Ellis or, you know, there's probably multiple James Ellis's. So you can see on the left hand side, there's the record types. We've got births, marriages, convicts, departures, deaths, and there's plenty more of those. You can limit it if you only want to look. So for example, I'm just going to look here at marriages and that opens up the records for you or you can get rid of marriages Let's see up on the left hand side and you can search by year or you can just look for a specific name and you can see how many records are there beside it you've got the numbers 36 4 whatever properties um, you can search by ship it could be the ship that they arrived on um, the departure port the place registered or the census district even. So if you want to narrow down your search, you can use quite a lot of those fields on the left hand side. And there you have it. Um, so let's just check out convicts um, because convicts is one of the most interesting things about Tasmanian records, I think. So if I just click on one of these guys, it's the year 1820 means that's when he arrived and you've got the ship that he was on. And then you can see these con records and these are their conduct records. These are so much fun to read. Um, it gives you basically, so it'll have his name plus the ship that he was on in the year that he arrived and stuff. But it'll also give you basically his whole conduct from his time in Tasmania. So um, I'm just zooming it in there, but you can see all of the handwritten sort of dates and then all of the notes beside it so this guy has quite a long kind of um, record but they're not all that long basically they put down any incidents of crimes that they committed or even things that they were maybe suspected of or any kind of incident that um, could go on their conduct record so I'll just get back out of there but those records are really fascinating to check out and as you can see there's also multiple kinds of convict records that are in there um, and yeah, there's plenty of convicts to choose from. <laughs> so really you've got to go by the departure date or the, like the ship or the year that they arrived to know which convict maybe is your one. But, you know, it, it might take a bit of fiddling around, but they're fascinating to read anyway. So if I get rid of convicts once again, we're back at the main page. And yeah, you can see the list of different record types that they offer, which is huge. They have so many different records. Um, so yeah, you can narrow down your search if there's a particular thing that you're looking for. Um, but it's a fantastic site. There is just so much on it. Okay. I hope that was helpful to you. Please let me know if you've used that website before, if it's helped you with any amazing breakthroughs with your family tree, make sure you also hit the subscribe button before you leave and hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this. Have a great one and happy researching and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!